Captain is giving away four Chevrolets every seven days. Listen for details tonight. Tonight, from the home of Ken Murray's Blackout, the El Capitan Theater, Hollywood, Lieber Brothers Company presents the Pepsodent Show, starring Bob Hope and his special guest, Al Jolson. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Bob Four Every Seven Hope, telling all you people from Maine to Duluth, be sure to put Pepsodent on every tooth, and whether you're as old as Crosby or only a youth, your mouth will never be as empty as a telephone booth. <laughs> I, I don't care whether I get laughs tonight or not. My sponsor can't call me tonight. <laughs> Shouldn't use that kind of language anyway. But anyway... The phone strike has affected the contest for my favorite brunette. One listener sent in a jingle saying, My favorite brunette, how I wish I could date her. She's my long-distance telephone operator. <laughs> Didn't win a thing. <laughs> it's going to be tough getting any messages through, too. I was out in my backyard this afternoon, heard one carrier pigeon say to another, I don't know about you, Mabel, but I ain't strike-breaking. <laughs> but I feel wonderful tonight. I've been down to Palm Springs. I had to come back. I ran out of co-signers. Uh, Palm Springs Palm Springs, that's an old Indian expression Meaning pale face come and stay in sun To look like red man Him look at hotel bill and go home pale face <laughs> What prices for those rooms down there? For $50 a day you get a room with a view of the mountains And for $25 a day you get one with a view of the desert my room costs $5 a day. Every morning, the bellboy slipped a postcard of a cactus plant under my door. <laughs> I stayed at a nice place in Palm Springs. You've heard of the Lone Palm? Well, all night, the dates kept dropping out of it and hitting me in the head. <laughs> and in the morning, they don't waken you by ringing your telephone. A bellboy tiptoes in, tickles your toes, and whispers, it's later than you think. <laughs> Yes, sir. Of course, I mingled with the 400 while I was there. In Palm Springs, they don't care how many they put in a room. <laughs> it was a nice room, and the towels were all marked his, hers, and put them back. <laughs> Everybody was there last week, and boy, that sunsuit Dorothy Lamour had on. She was sitting over there with a copy of Forever Amber in her hand, and the book was reading her. <laughs> I couldn't get regular suntan oil, so I rubbed Texaco number 30 on my back. It was so embarrassing. A Chevrolet kept coming up and nuzzling me. <laughs> hurry, 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 hurry. Gather round, friends. You can't see anything standing way back there. Get right down close. That's the idea, close. What of course, it? not too close. Let's not trample each other. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to give away uh, absolutely excuse free. Excuse me, Off mister. Off my feet, bump, you're overweight. Uh, now, listen, everybody. Tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to give away absolutely free four Chevrolets every seven days. If I may interrupt... Down the uh, street, bump, you're blocking traffic. Face winners announced later in this program tonight, so hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, say, mister, give me a chance. I'm Wendell Niles. I told you. Oh, that's different. Step right up and tell them all about it. Yes, folks, hurry. Send your jingles right away if you want to win one of the next four Chevrolets. Remember to celebrate the release of Bob's new picture, My Favorite Brunette. Pepsi is giving away four Chevrolets every seven days. And our third week's contest closes next Saturday midnight, April 12th. Again this week as grand first prizes, four Chevrolets. Brand new Fleetmaster four-door sedans. Next eight prizes, new Frigidaire cold walls. Big seven cubic foot refrigerators. Next ten prizes, crisp new $100 bills. Enter tonight. Here's all you do. Just finish a simple two-line jingle, starting with the words, My Favorite Brunette. Finish your two-line jingle so the last word of both lines rhyme. Write about anyone, your husband, wife, friends, even your dog. As simple as this. My favorite brunette is a guy named Joe. I married the man because I love him so. Mail your jingle with a top and bottom of any Pepsodent carton or toothbrush label 
Mildew Pepsodent, Box 3636, Chicago, Illinois. That's Pepsodent, Box 3636, Chicago, Illinois. Complete rules given later in the program. Also in Sunday papers and at drug counters. Send your entry before next Saturday midnight. Pepsodent's giving away four Chevrolets every seven days. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful about the Chevrolet winners? Now all that's worrying me is why that weed-lipped Kelowna hasn't phoned yet. What a lucky guy he is getting to meet my 14 favorite brunettes when they get into that train, the Santa Fe Super Chief, and escorting them around Hollywood. Many a guy would give his right arm to be in Kelowna's position. Hello, Hope speaking. Who's this? Lefty. <laughs> Professor Kelowna, well... So it's Kelowna on that end. Silly boy, it's Kelowna on both ends. Yeah. <laughs> how, you, how are you getting along with those 14 brunettes, Kelowna? Oh, wonderful, Hope. Last night I took them all to Grauman's Theater and paid for all eight tickets myself. Kelowna, eight tickets? That only accounts for yourself and seven girls. How did the other seven beauties get in? <laughs> Small girls, big mustache. <laughs> Professor, how could seven girls hide under your mustache? I don't ask questions. I just have fun. <laughs> I see. Well, look, at Kelowna, I want to know one thing. Are these girls with you? Joan Davis of Detroit, Ollie Lick of Toronto, Betty Lou Heiser of Washington, Anne Trapiti of New York, Ursula Halloran of Pittsburgh, Loretta Summers of Seattle, Jean Devon, Chicago, Rosita Malik of New York, Mary Ellen Fields, Houston, Yvonne Llewellyn, Salt Lake City, Virginia Crider, Birmingham, Elaine Barber, Petrilla, New York, Betty Marlin, Boston, and Nancy Norton, Cleveland. Pardon? <laughs> I said, is Joan Davies... Too late, I'm on the next page. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kelowna, you're an idiot's idiot. I didn't know you cared. <laughs> You feel pretty good, don't you, Kelowna, being the only man with all those girls? Oh, but I'm not. Naturally, my friend is here, Joe Schlunk, the midget. Joe Schlunk, the midget? Who's he? Well, he's the little guy inside the telephone who says, unless this is an emergency, hang up. <laughs> That's wonderful. Hey, hey, Kelowna, what's that I hear? I'm kissing one of the girls, oh. You're kissing one of the girls? Gee, why doesn't that ever happen to me? I'm sorry, I thought you'd object to my mustache. Ah, but this is a wonderful game, Hope The girls, the girls line up I close up my eyes and, do, and go down the line Kissing each girl And guessing where she's from You go down the line Kissing each girl And guessing where she's from? Yes, I'll show you Now, here's the first one <laughs> Miss Houston <laughs> Miss New York <laughs> Kelowna, who was that? <laughs> Mistake. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Kelowna. Yes, sir. That's Kelowna. He gets all the beautiful brunettes, and I get. Hello, Mr. Miss Vera Vague. Well, well, Miss Vera Vague, my favorite lunette. <laughs> Oh, the old para monster. Yeah. <laughs> Say, that's a very pretty hairdo you have, Miss Vegas. Is that for Al Jolson? Yes, it is. And I hope it lasts for Dan Johnson on next week's show. Yes, he'll be here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, it all makes me feel so good. I can just feel the years start to slip off of me. Yeah, you better bounce around a little. I don't think they quite made it. <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> I'd tell you to go jump in the lake, but with all that air in your head, you'd probably keep afloat. <laughs> well, tell me, Miss... Very now. Tell me, Miss Vague, what have you been doing this week? Oh, well, I've been very busy, Mr. Hope. I started chaperoning the 14 favorite brunettes when they arrived here in Hollywood. Oh, my, but they're pretty... I'll bet they created quite a commotion coming out on the train. Yes, they came out on the Santa Fe Super Chief, and it was the first time the engine ever turned around to whistle. <laughs> you know, they really kept me 
be busy, Mr. Hope, as their chaperone. You see, I've been telling them what every young girl should know. Miss Vague, you remember? <laughs> moron, you. <laughs> but while you were escorting the brunettes around Hollywood, Miss Vague, I hope you took them by Paramount and showed them my studio. Uh, your studio? Uh, that's right. Uh, yes, I did, Mr. Hope, right after I took them down to Santa Monica and showed them my ocean. <laughs> Just tell me one thing. If yes. you're such a good chaperone, how come Kelowna's out with the girls right now? Kelowna's out with the... Oh, my goodness. He'll lead them astray, sure. Oh, well, don't worry. They're safe with him. He made me a promise. He said, hope to die. <laughs> Hello? I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, in spite of that, Mr. Hope, the girls are perfectly safe. I've doused them with a perfume that keeps men away. It's called burp. <laughs> A perfume called Burp. It sounds terrible. What's it made of? Dad's old-fashioned root beer. <laughs> well, Miss Bates, don't you want the girls to have any dates at all? Oh, yes, I do, Mr. Hope. I-, I want you to arrange a date for each one of them with Cary Grant during the next 14 nights. Will you do that? You want me to arrange 14 dates with Cary Grant? Uh, yes, please. Now, you see, every, every night a brunette will show up at Cary's home. She'll be tall, dark. And wearing a black veil over her face. Uh, no, no, wait a minute, it's vague. Wait, the 14 brunettes will be on tour the next 14 nights. They won't even be in town. Oh, well, it almost worked. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Verbeek. That's wonderful. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present one of the all-time great names in show business. The man who thrilled us for years on the stage and then thrilled us again in the Joseph story. Here he is himself, Mr. Al Joseph, right here. Here I come, right back there, I started from where flowers, the flowers bloom in the spring, each morning at dawning, they sing and everything, a sun kiss, Miss Dead, don't be late, that's why I can hardly wait, come on, open up that golden gate, California, here I come. Juice is wonderful stuff, and yeah, that was oh, yeah. great. Really wonderful. Well, naturally, it was Bob. You see, that song is from my picture, the Jolson story. But I saw a picture last night that was out of this world. 20th Century Fox, Alexander's Ragtime Band. A great picture, Bob, with great music. Yes, it's a wonderful picture. Yeah. You know, Al, Desi Arnaz and his boys have copied the exact style of Alexander's Ragtime Band. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. In fact, his maraca players are still wearing the same rags. I noticed that, yeah. <laughs> No, those aren't Maracas players, Al. They're a couple of rejects from Queen for a day. But you know, Al... (laughs) You know, Al, your singing is such a big success. Even Frank Sinatra is imitating you. Frankie is imitating me? Yes, sir. In his last program, twice he tried to get up on one knee to sing. (laughs) But it's wonderful to see a healthy singer. I never saw you looking better, and you're so frisky. Tell me, how do you do it? Bob... A man's just as old as he feels. And the way I feel, 
I'm going out and get another bowl of pablum. Really, I think so. <laughs> Take it easy, Al. I'd have a tough time burping you. I, I want to tell you one... You look great. Now, wait a minute, Bob. Let's forget the jokes for a few minutes, will you? You know something? What? I'd like to win a Chevrolet. <laughs> Don't tell me you said in a jingle. Sure, listen to this. My favorite brunette is Larry Parks. He makes with emotions while I make with the barks. <laughs> Wendell Niles for a second. He has the winners of those new Chevrolets and Pepsodent's first week. Oh, time. I can't wait. Brand new Chevrolets are on their way to Muriel Killingsworth, University of Georgia, Athens, Georgia, James E. Robinson, 612 East, 72nd Terrace, Kansas City, Missouri, Patrick O'Grady Sullivan, 1538 Coolidge Avenue, Wichita, Kansas, Mrs. Pat Thompson, 3383 Clarendon Road, Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Oh, no. Winners of the eight Frigidaires and ten $100 oh. bills in Pepsodent's first week's contest have already been notified. Congratulations, winners. And now, come on, you folks who didn't win. Here's another opportunity for you. Remember, Pepsodent's giving away four Chevrolets every seven days. Enter now for our third weekly contest, closing next Saturday midnight, April 12th. Just finish a two-line jingle, starting with the words, My favorite brunette. The last words of both lines must rhyme. For example, My favorite brunette is my own dear wife. When she said yes, it brightened my life. Write on one side of any piece of paper. <laughs> Mail it with your name and address to Pepsodent, Box 3636. That's Box 3636, Chicago, Illinois. Send as many entries as you wish each on a separate sheet of paper. Attach to each entry the top and bottom of any Pepsodent carton, either Pepsodent toothpaste, tooth powder, or antiseptic, or a toothbrush label or facsimile. All these prizes each week, four brand-new Chevrolet Fleetmaster four-door sedans, eight new Frigidaire cold wall refrigerators, ten $100 bills. Entries judged on originality and aptness of thought and become property of Pepsodent, none returned. Judge's decision's final. Duplicate prizes for ties. Any person in the United States territory may enter except Lieber Brothers That's employees, its advertising agencies, and their families. Act now if you want to win one of the next four Chevrolets. Can my agent get in? Do you think? <laughs> Entries received after next Saturday midnight will be judged in the following week's contest. Next Tuesday, listen for the second week's Chevrolet winners. Pepsodent's giving away four Chevrolets every seven days. And here we go! <laughs> Come on in here. Come on in here, Alexander Rat Time Band. Sell it out. Come on in here. Come on in here. It's the best band in the land. Say, hey, Bob, come in there. Come in there, will you? Bob. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, you hook him. Oh. Listen. Bob. Bob, you, you know that. I shoes on the dog boy. Oh, son, you know that... Listen, Bob, that... What's that? I'm sorry I didn't finish it, but that's a great song. Oh, and I, it, it sends me... I, I, I love to sing a song. I know you like that number, Al. Yeah. I've heard oh, you on a lot it. of I shows. Yeah. In fact, I've heard you on every show. You yeah. know that, don't you? <laughs> you know, you've been making so many guest appearances, Al. Tell me, why don't you get your own radio show? What, indeed? Where... Uh, Wait a minute. Uh, oh, you're spoiling the joke. We got a joke. We got... Oh, you, Bob, ask me that again. All Bob. right. Ask me that again. Don't do that. Oh, we no, have no, no. Shelton up here with yes. us. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, Al, yes. look, you've been making so many guest appearances. Tell me, why don't you get your own radio show? What? And be on... Wait a minute, will you? <laughs> Ask me that again. Quick. Why don't you do get your own radio show? What? And be only air only once a week? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, Bob. We, we'll be on an hour. <laughs> Not on this network. You're not kidding, Al. You know, you've been on so many radio programs. I hear the other day a housewife went into her grocery store and asked for a box of Jolsons. Well, <laughs> oh, they're good with mustard. But listen, Bob. <laughs> Just how many guest appearances have you made on the radio? Fifteen. Counting tonight? No, I don't count benefits. <laughs> Now, look, what? think. What do you want more money for? You know, there's no way you can take it with you. I know. But by the time I'm ready to leave, maybe Canada will have figured out something. You can't tell. 
I feel the same way about Crosby. But you know, Al, we haven't mentioned my favorite brunette for seven or eight seconds. How'd you like the picture? Well, I don't think you have anything to worry about. You don't? No, after all, I was older than you when I made my comeback. (laughs) Yeah, but it took two of you to do it. Oh, please. You know... When I was a kid in Cleveland, Al, I used to dream of being like you. So really? I started telling jokes yes. and more jokes. Yes. And now I'm here in Hollywood, too. That's right, Bob. Who says crime don't pay? That's what I want. You know, I don't have to do this for a living. I can always sell eyebrow tweezers to John L. Lewis. Bob, you won't get no coal next season. <laughs> we'll need it out here, too. Ah, but memories are great, Bob. I... I remember the first time I met you. Yeah, it was at the swankiest hotel in Cleveland, wasn't it? That's right, Bob. And one thing I've always regretted. I never got a chance to apologize for not tipping you when you brought up the ice water. I remember. <laughs> oh, make nothing of it. Oh. Your pocket was one of the easiest I ever picked. Well, make nothing of it. I'll never forget that time we first met. I was playing in Cleveland, and I phoned down to the hotel operator. Operator, operator. Yes, sir. Operator, this is Al Jolson. Al Jolson! And Sinatra thinks he started that. Al Jolson! Oh, Elsie, you send me! You send me! You send me! Okay, I'd like to send you, but the elevator don't go down that far. <laughs> Say, operator, where's that bellboy with my thing? Never mind, I think he's at the door now. Mr. Jolson? Who'd you think it was, Sophie Tucker? Uh, Here's your suit, Mr. Jolson. What took you so long, Bellhop? I just got to work and I had to take it off. Well, Here you are, sir. Do you always carry clothes that way? <laughs> yes, sir. Doesn't a hanger leave a mark on your nose? <laughs> Only when they have overcoats on them. <laughs> What's your name, son? Leslie Hope. I'm trying to be a comedian, Mr. Jolson. Mm -hmm. Listen to this joke. It'll kill you. Yeah. Every man has a wife, but a nice man has his pick. (laughs) (laughs) Is that a (laughs) ball? How was that, Mr. Jolson? It stinks, but stop tickling me. Listen. (laughs) What what makes you think you'll ever be a comedian? Well, last night I won first prize at Amateur Night over at the Bijou. What did he give you for first prize? Two tickets for the Rivoli. Mm. (laughs) But I'm sure I'll make a great comic. Just a moment. Let me give you a little advice, son. Show business is a very tough racket. You go from town to town knocking your brains out. It's a long, tough grind to the top. And if you get into it, you'll wish you were dead. Then why are you in it? The money is great. (laughs) Now, look, son, I got to get dressed. I have a show to catch. Well, here's your coat, sir. But where's the pants and the suit? Did it have pants? No, the jacket came with a bubble. Now, look, son, wait a minute. Don't stand there, boy. Find my pants. I'll phone down and see if the bell captain has them. Yeah. Hello? Oh, well, listen, bell captain, Mr. Jolson doesn't have his pants. Well, tell him to leave by the back entrance. <laughs> and what does Jolson's pants look like? You only have one pair like them. They have a padded left knee. What? <laughs> let me, let me, let me talk to the bell captain. Hello? This is Al Jolson. Who? Al Jolson. Mammy. Son of boy. Dad, I got one man's family on the wire. What? Listen, you, run in the tailor shop and get my pants pronto. Okay. What am I running for? My name ain't Pronto. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Jolson, while you're waiting, I'll show you my act. Yeah? What can I do? You caught me with my pants down. Now look. Oh, now, wait a minute. I'll show you what I've got to just listen. Now sing one of your greatest songs. Okay. Oh, California, here I come, yeah. Right back where I started from, yeah. Where flowers of flowers bloom in the spring. Oh, these more... (laughs) Give me a chance, Mr. Jolson. Each morning, a dawn and bird is singing everything. A sun kissed me and said, don't be late, don't be late. That's why I can hardly wait. I want open, open up that golden gate. <laughs> Opened up the girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
opened up the pearly gate, too, didn't I? <laughs> How about that, huh? Very nice, Al. That's wonderful. And here is Mr. Al Jolson, ladies and gentlemen, singing one of Irving Berlin's most beautiful songs, Always. I'll be loving you always With a love that's true always When the things you plan Need a helping hand I will understand All the way, all the way Days may not be fair All the way That's when I'll be there All the way Not for just an hour not for just a day, not for just a year, but all the way. I'll be loving you all the way, with a love that's true all the way. When the things you plan. Need a helping your heart. I will understand all the way, all the way. This may not be fair, all the way. That's when I'll be there. All the way. Not for just an hour. Not for just a day, not for just a year, but Easter season brought, indeed as well as thought, the good you did for each crippled kid with the Easter seals you bought, and we thank you so much, and thanks for the memory of this month that's set aside in a drive that's nationwide to help ensure a cancer cure that's bound to turn the tide, and we thank you so much. Folks, the king size, thank you to Al Jolson. Al Jolson, there's the kind of a showman I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> a showman like Al Jolson only happened once in a lifetime. Same in the songwriting game. You only get one Irving Berlin in a lifetime. Those wonderful tunes in Alexander's ragtime band surely prove it. Confidentially, Paramount tells me that pictures like my favorite brunette only come once in a lifetime, too. <laughs> and at first, I didn't believe it, but Paramount is a big company, so I guess they wouldn't dare say it if it wasn't true. Well, that's all, except good luck to 14 of my favorite brunettes here in the audience. 14 girls from all over America who won brunette beauty contests and spent their Easter holiday in Hollywood as guests of Paramount and yours truly. I played host, Paramount played cashier. <laughs> These girls are leaving in five minutes to grab the Santa Fe Super Chief, and I hope they go back home feeling as I do that our little old movie capital is a pretty good burg after all. Look at these brunettes. Aren't they lovely? Yes, sir, no wonder America is such a beautiful country. Next week, we'll have that MGM charmer, Van Johnson, with us. Until then, good night. Reminding you to send your jingles right away. Hudson is giving away four Chevrolets every seven days.
This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.